So we're here day one of InterSolar Europe and the EES Europe show with Scott McGregor, CEO at Red Tea. Red Tea delivering vanadium redox flow machines yep. into the energy storage market, um, Europe and worldwide really, I guess. Now the reason why I thought we'd take a quick couple of minutes now is that you guys have brought yeah, quite a cool uh, little augmented reality app to, um, to bring the, uh, the product to life. Yeah, so what it's trying to do is let people see inside. So our Generation 3 product, which we launched today, uh, we think is the best in class flow machine globally. Uh, and a flow machine is good for heavy duty, daily cycling, long duration storage. But what we've particularly done on the Generation 3 model, and we've used uh, years and years of research, is embedded functionality inside the machine to make more money for the customer. So it has specific functions from our engineering design into the machine to make more money. So the augmented reality is helping people look inside the machine and see what we've got in, inside it. For a lot of people, redox flow energy storage is they're still at a fairly introductory stage and the energy storage market in general could really do with you know, a certain amount of education still, I think. Yeah, and I think, I think that's where we're slightly different. We're not, Red Tea is a company, we're experts on business models of how to make money use more cheap PV. PV solar is like cash flow to me. It's great and really cheap. So the more you can access, the better. So many hours of storage and also save money on energy bills. And our project in Australia, which got shipped yesterday, is the largest commercial behind the meter energy storage system in the world with lithium and flow together. So we're very much expert at designing systems, power and energy for the customer to maximize the amount of money. And Gen 3, we're not just doing the business models, we've actually got functions where the, the customer can get more out of the machine when they need to make more money. Which So we're not just selling a product anymore, we're actually designing a purpose-built storage system to make more money. Right, I mean, I do want to ask you about yep. that functionality, yep. but hang on a second. You just said lithium and vanadium Together. in a hybrid system in yep. Australia. Yep. This is something that you and I were talking about a while ago, mm -hmm. and um, to me it sounded great. No one was actually putting their money where their mouth was, yeah. so to speak. Just maybe just elaborate a bit more on Yeah, that so project. I think people have done it on a research mode, um, but we've had a, a research project running for three years to optimize power. Lithium is a great battery technology. It's cheap power, but it's not very good when you want to use it often. You know, you need a lot of software to protect it from degrading. Flow is great. It's your workhorse. You want to use it all day long. So they're opposite technologies. So what we're showing in the Australian project is putting both of those technologies together, which means the client can make much more money on saving energy bills, providing grid services, and do everything on a flexible asset. That's at a one megawatt hour scale, so it's pretty decent for commercial behind the meter. What we've actually designed is big grid systems now with lithium and flow together, because big grid storage is all great for frequency response, but that's all people can do with lithium, where we can do everything on flow, and if you put flow and lithium together, you get a great asset that sits there for 20 years no matter what energy policy does and can do all your services and um, de-risk the business model for investors. So actually thinking of storage, what people do, in my view, is they're lazy. They don't think about how they're going to make money and it's about designing the right technology and the right solution to do what you need. And then lithium is great. We sell lithium batteries and we sell flow machines and we'll design the right solution. It's already, it's behind the meter, it's in a commercial installation, so yep. that's more than just a pilot or a trial, isn't it? That's, 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 there's an economic... This is real, real it, life yeah. grid, yeah. microgrid in Australia, and it's really good. So what they'll be doing with it is the PV, the solar, they'll be capturing hours of solar during the day, putting it in the flow machine, filling up the battery a bit, so it's a one hour lithium, five hour flow. Right, okay. And then we'll be discharging overnight, we'll be buying power off the grid with both systems during the night, and then we'll be doing some frequency response on both the lithium and the flow. All the short frequency calls will be done on flow because there's no degradation. So every time you trade off a flow machine or you do frequency response, it has zero cost. So you want to save the lithium because it costs you every time you use it for when you have big power spurts. And then you can actually protect the lithium and it's a really good technology. But if you're using the lithium for everything, all the little bits, you kill it. So the flow becomes very good on all the short frequency calls or the short trading and the long stuff. And then you protect the lithium when you make big amounts of money 
for your big power spurts. So it's a really neat mix. So the client in Australia is finding out all these new things they can do with storage. And everything new you can do is cash flow. Yeah, and that's what life is about, sadly. Um, so it's all about the economic case and thinking about how you get the right technologies to make the right amount of money or more money. You guys put out a short masterclass explainer, you call it, on, yep. uh, via YouTube and all the social channels. And uh, yeah, I mean, what is that exactly? Yeah. So it's a good question. I, I've almost become a passionate evangelist about energy storage because my view is the energy is full of uh, the energy sector is full of misinformation about what energy storage is about. So we've come up with this five-minute YouTube masterclass, which originally is pitched for our grandparents. So it's really, really simple stuff. But interestingly, it's educating the energy industry sure. because there is a lot of misinformation. So it's basic steps of what storage is about. And the key themes is about unlocking cheap renewables. So storage was not invented yesterday. Storage, lithium goes back to the 1930s. Flow goes back to the 1940s. These technologies have been sitting on the fence waiting to be used. The new technology is solar and that's what's cheap and wind. So the, the video explains how you integrate storage with solar to create more money and create more cash flow. Um, so it's very simple. We're very passionate about dispelling a lot of the myths and misperceptions. And uh, it's you get on YouTube, Twitter, LinkedIn. Um, so five minute energy storage masterclass. Excellent. And uh, yeah, and that's uh, one of those, we'll be looking forward to talking about those topics in the round table tomorrow as well. Great. Thanks, Thanks Andy. Thanks very much, Scott.